Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone, it's OJ with the Goblin Challenge and there's the chess. 500 gems for them, that's really tempting. I'm, I'm gonna do it for you guys, let's, let's go, let's get six of them. Mega bonus, bonus six, super bonus seven, mega bonus 10, max bonus 15. Okay, I might actually get him to level 11 then. We're gonna, we're gonna blast through all of our gems. Regular bonus, super bonus, mega bonus, max bonus twice in a row. Would you look at that? And he's level 11, just like that, only two chests. I, I should just stop, but he's like the only epic that I need. Also, I probably need Hunter and Executioner and Pekka just because I traded them all for clone for that one video. Ah, oh, it hurts. Okay, we got some Expos, but I already have the max. I need another max. Oh, it averages out. You get two max bonuses in a row, you get the, you get the worst bonus for, for that, okay. Super bonus, mega bonus, max, three max bonuses in a row. I like that, I like that a lot. Let's try luck, we've got two more chests. Regular bonus, max bonus, max bonus, no. Not quite, okay. Let's check out how many we need now. I, I kind of miss how it used to have, uh, there's this, there's only this one card ever, I don't remember which one it was, but it had unlimited amounts. I would totally max out the Goblin Giant right now if you, if that existed. Super bonus. Mega bonus, come on, give me- Okay, two mega bonuses, three max bonuses, a regular bonus. It's not bad. Not bad. 42 out of 11. <laughs> not even close to max. Worthless. I need to get him to ladder. Let's play some draft challenges. We're 3-0 in this. I'm gonna go graveyard. Battle Ram is easier to stop with more cards than graveyard is. At least in draft challenge. For the first pick. Oh, man. They're both really annoying to deal with. Magic Archer it is. Okay, Lightning for the Witch. Let's go with Zappies because I gave them the Barbarian Barrel. So that's going to kill my Spear Goblins. I just want to rush him with Graveyard so badly. It's going to hurt. Don't do it. He's going to rush me with Graveyard. Alright. I mean... It's not going to connect, so now he's down a lot of Elixir. And this Counter Push is going to hurt. Get, whirl get, get ready, Angel. Get ready for a World of Hurt. Right about... Come on, Skeleton, spawn for the Sparky. Alright, well, we're gonna go for the Snowball. Oh, yeah. Boom! Zappy's already locked on. Oh, that's a free Barbarian! One snipe, boom! <laughs> that's what you get for rushing. Actually, I was gonna rush too, so. Oh, jeez. You know what? It's a Night Witch, and we're going to do this. She's gonna get the bats. Kill the Ice Golem, please, because it's got that Nova. And I'm gonna put the Zappies in the front, just so that it blocks the Battle Ram. Just to, ah, I said block the Battle Ram! Zappies, you stink now! I hate your first attack. I hate it! This was double Elixir, I would totally go Valkyrie there, then I would go bada bing, bada boom with the Graveyard, but he's going for a Barbarian Barrel. I, I don't know how I feel about that. So, let's just take it easy then. I'm just gonna go for a Valkyrie in the back, he's down a little bit of Elixir. I guess not, because I put down the Valkyrie, put down the Goblin Giant, so... It's hard to count where you're speaking and reporting at the same time. I'm gonna put down a Magic Archer there, it's gonna kind of snipe a little- Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Spear Goblins are locked onto the Inferno Dragon, so it's totally cool. For me to put the... Skeletons like that, and that Inferno- That- That Goblin Giant is actually pretty decent, it's double Elixir now, this is where we shine. Ah, you know what, we'll let him have it. Dude, we're just gonna take- we're gonna base race. I'd rather- I'd rather take a full health tower and, um, lose my 900 health tower. I said take it, not- okay, he defended that perfectly. Ugh, terrible. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna- we're gonna bum rush with another graveyard. Magic Archer's not within range. <laughs> uh, let's go for a little snowball there. It's gonna take out some of the bats and the spear gobbies, and that's gonna be pretty decent. Um, I need to chill out there, though. I had to take care of that Zappy, and now we've... Or is that, that Sparky? I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Oh my goodness. That Valkyrie. That Valkyrie! Yeah, we'll, we'll just take it easy. I could do this. Let's do something crazy. Our Valkyrie's out of rotation, but I'm just gonna... I'm gonna tank with Inferno Dragon. I'm gonna tank with Inferno Dragon. That's how crazy we are. Oh yeah, it locks on. That's gonna be a good game. I don't. I should have been it, done it a little bit higher because <laughs> this, the spear goblins almost lightning rotted everything. That was a terrible lightning placement. D 
don't don't do what I just did. What's the fourth prize? Twenty goblins. Twenty goblin gangs. Now I have a full stack. Five giants. Okay. I, I could I could use those two giant goblins for my quest to max. Piglets. Piglets. Piglets are in the meta. I'm gonna take the log just because the log stops the piglets. I'm gonna go with the goblin gang because I have the log and I feel like Magic Archer does a better job of stopping my piglets and my goblin gang. So we're gonna go for the Magic Archer. Goblin giant in the back. He's not bad. But I wonder if he's gonna be buffed in the next balance update on Monday. Ah. I meant to split that in the middle because I knew one was gonna survive. Three are gonna survive. Jeez. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the Magic Archer. It's gonna lock onto the cannon card. It's gonna deal a lot of damage. And, uh... We gotta protect it. 1,000 damage from the Magic Archer. 1,000 damage. And the Magic Archer takes out the Bandit. Takes out the Hunter. Woo! Magic Archer was the best choice ever. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for that one Fire Spirit to die. Divert it. No, no, no. You don't rock it in times like this. Now, that he's down a lot of elixir, so I'm just gonna straight up go for the piglets. And those spear goblins are actually wrecking those uh, goblins. Piglets at full health, one spear goblin from that goblin giant. Goblin giant, I love you. I'm gonna go for the little happy magic archer there. It's gonna snipe a cup. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Take it easy, take it easy. Bait one of the bandits to come down. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got one spear goblin. It's gonna deal one shot. One shot, that's all we need. Should we do a mortar there? Nah. No, no, no. When he's. Not when he uses a cannon cart for one Spear Goblin. Oh my goodness. Now that he used it for one, I traded five for three for my Goblin Gang in the same rotation. We're going to go for that. It's the, the Goblin Giant's going to tank for that. It's going to go straight to the tower, and we're going to be happy dandy lily pads. He's going to rocket my tower again, though. I want to take out that uh, Hunter with a Mortar, so we're going to... Dang it! I didn't know he had a Royal Giant. I would have put it one tile lower, because now, now, now it's not within range. Okay, we're gonna have to log that hunter away just so that I can put a goblin gang right in front of there and then be super aggressive with the rocket. So what I did with the piglets was uh, kind of obstruct its pathing so that the piglets would go straight to the tower and then cannon cart. Yes, it's over. Here's where we protect it with the goblin giant. <laughs> put that in the center. Come on, tank. There we go. Mortar locked on at full health. Goblins! Goblins! I don't know how I feel about the Hunter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna counter it with uh, Fire Spirits. And uh, just take it easy. Maybe I'll do a uh, little Goblin Gang there just so that I can rub my mustache. Beard. I wish I grew a beard. Okay, we've got one more to go. This was an easy challenge. And a lot of the first challenge, everyone was like, don't pick Goblin Gang. But Goblin Gang is not bad. If you guys watch my Goblin Gang tech video, it kind of gives you an idea. Or, I mean, Goblin Giant, sorry. So, anyways, we're gonna pick the Spear Goblins, because why not? And I do like Swarming Swarms. Swarms seem to overwhelm pretty well in this, and Golem might actually be a better choice here, but I have Skarmie for the Golem, and then Goblin Giant will tank for the Fire Spirits. Let's hope it works out. I actually kind of like the Mirror. Then I can Mirror the Spear Goblins, and now I really have a truly Swarming deck. Let's let's try and overwhelm him with just spam. He gave me Archers, too. Yes! Yes! This is what I need. Let's pray he doesn't have Tornado. I'm just gonna spam that and then the snowball does not take care of the girls so we're gonna have to take it a little easy here I'm gonna put the goblin giant in the back there and then we'll do archers to support it now what I need is um, piglets piglets nah it's too late there's not enough elixir for me to do a, like a really good piglet push either way we've got Skarmy here to use fire spirits on my archers, so I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling okay for this. I might actually uh I'm gonna mirror my Skarmy just so that it, it takes out that obnoxious musketeer too. There we go. Yeah that musketeer. Stop it musketeer. Stop it musketeer. <laughs> oh man at least the ra I, I separated the rascals from the the rascal boy. And let's see, he doesn't have any buildings so far, so we're gonna go in with a little piglet push there. Don't even need to push, don't even need to split it. Okay, he's got fireball, but that one archer, that one archer's live. One hit on the archer, two hits, three hits, four hits. Archers deal a lot of damage. Looking really good, and it looks like that mirror did pay off because I was able to defend the golem a little bit better just because of it. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna rush in with the miner. It's not even double elixir and he's already using golem. That's, that is trouble. There we go. With the Spear Goblins taking out the tower a little bit faster, I have more clearance to take out the tower. 
And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna plant the the goblin giants kind of like right beside the musketeer. And then I'm gonna it's gonna absorb the the spirits. There's the more spirits, and then we've got okay. I'm gonna do something there. You know what? Let's let's mirror the fireball. Or let's mirror the snowball just because we Oh my goodness. I, I completely forgot that it gave him graveyard. Wait, no, that was the other one. I didn't even know he had graveyard. Rascal boy, too much damage. Stop. Stop it, Rascal Boy! Stop it! Ah, here's what we do. We make up for our mistakes by rushing him. He rushes me, I rush him. It's all good. I'm gonna go in for the miner and uh, disable that musketeer a little bit, slow it down a bit, and we're gonna go in with Skarmy there. He's gonna have fire spirits or ice spirit at the river, and I'm gonna have to mirror that fireball. Fireball? That's crazy. Yeah, I need, I need to absorb those spirits, like, right now. There we go. And then I have... The, the king is activated. There's no tanks. We're good. I'm going to tank those spear goblins, make sure they stay alive, and I'm going to go for the miner. It doesn't matter it, with the fireball because... The spear goblins spawn from the goblin giant. I love the goblin giant. I hope he gets buffed. I'm going to max him out so hard. He actually has really core, good core mechanics, and if he has a low win rate, then that just means that he's going to get buffed next update if he does, hopefully... Wanna get into level 13. Let's check out what we have in here. Not the goblin giant, not a rage spell. So it's 10 gems to re-enter. Good to know. Got a little crown chest there. Oh! A legendary from a crown chest! Yes! Magic Archer, here we go on our quest to max. We've got 4 out of 20 with the trade system going on. We're gonna max it out. Hope you guys enjoyed this and hope the draft tips were helpful. Thanks for watching.